The Florida Department of Transportation welcomes you to the public information meeting for the State Road A1A Long-Term Improvements Feasibility Study. Thank you for attending this important event. There will be no formal presentation during this meeting. This is an open house format from 2.30 p.m. till 6.30 p.m. This presentation will loop throughout the meeting. Please take the time to review the documents, maps, and plans on display. Feel free to speak with a member of the study team if you have any questions. We ask that you please fill out a comment form or talk with a team member about your concerns. This meeting is being held in accordance with Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and Title VIII of the Civil Rights Act of 1968 as amended. Anyone who feels he or she has been discriminated against with regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status may express their concerns by contacting the Florida Department of Transportation. Forms are available for you to contact both the local and state Title VI coordinator. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedure and in a prompt and courteous manner. The Title VI coordinator's contact information is available this evening. The State Road A1A Long-Term Improvements Feasibility Study is being conducted by the Florida Department of Transportation in association with several federal, state, and local partners. A feasibility study is a planning study that assesses components such as engineering requirements, impacts and enhancements to the natural, human, and built environments, costs, and public and agency input. A feasibility study vets all options and provides a basis for future phases such as preliminary engineering studies, final design, right-of-way acquisition as needed, and ultimately construction. The purpose of this study is to identify and assess potential long-term solutions to protect State Road A1A along this segment in Flagler County from future storm damage and erosion. This meeting is being held to present the wide range of improvement options being considered and to get your input on the various options so that future actions can be determined. The limits of this study are a 5.2 mile section of State Road A1A from south of South 28th Street to south of Osprey Drive. This section of State Road A1A was identified in previous studies conducted by both the Florida Department of Transportation and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. A small section of this area has had temporary reconstruction of the roadway, beach, and dune stabilization elements. Over the years, State Road A1A has been affected by storm events, including most recently Hurricane Matthew. These damages to State Road A1A have cost several millions of dollars for roadway repair and maintenance and has greatly affected tourism, commerce, and quality of life for the area's residents and visitors. The information presented today has involved close coordination and partnerships between the Florida Department of Transportation, the Federal Highway Administration, the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, National Marine Fisheries Service, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Flagler County, the City of Flagler Beach, and the Town of Beverly Beach. Moving forward, this partnership will continue. A project of this magnitude involves a delicate balance between future needs, environmental sensitivity, community feedback, costs, and engineering elements. As a result of the damage to State Road A1A from Hurricane Matthew, temporary improvements have been constructed and include the addition of rock, known as revetments, as well as adding new sand to the dunes. Also, an approximately one-mile segment of State Road A1A has been rebuilt and shifted to the west within the FDOT right-of-way. This is not the first time this has happened. In fact, these types of improvements have been made to several sections of State Road A1A over the past several years, and some are still in place. These temporary improvements were never intended to be left in place permanently. There are still areas along Flagler Beach experiencing severe erosion, and FDOT will be making additional emergency repairs at these locations in the near future. Issues with beach erosion and damage to State Road A1A have been an ongoing problem along this section of Flagler Beach. There have been more than a dozen studies conducted by different government agencies related to this issue since about 1980. Part of this current study involves reviewing and updating information on alternatives from the previous studies, plus consideration of several new options. Any long-term solution will involve a partnership among many federal, state, and local agencies. The various governmental agencies have differing interests along Flagler Beach, given the focus of each agency. 
the environmental permitting agencies are focused on elements such as protecting sea turtle nesting habitat. Local government agencies like Flagler County, the city of Flagler Beach, and the town of Beverly Beach also have interest in the beach related to the community, local economy, tourism, and the overall quality of life. FDOT's focus is protecting and maintaining State Road A1A. It is important that all of these are considered in the process. Two of the previously completed studies are most relevant to this study. The first is the FDOT Project Development and Environment, or PD&E, study that was approved in 2011. As a result of the study, two interim improvements and one long-term improvement were approved by FDOT and the Federal Highway Administration. The two interim improvements included adding rock revetments or stabilization using either coquina or granite rock. The long-term improvement included a potential retaining wall that would involve burying the wall with sand, as well as the addition of natural vegetative features, which also helps with stabilization. A 2014 U.S. Army Corps of Engineers study focused on reducing hurricane and storm damage to Flagler Beach and its infrastructure. The study involved engineering, environmental, and economic components. The results of the study was a beach nourishment plan that would require the beach to be re-nourished every 11 years. This option does not protect State Road A1A from major storm damage. We have several different roadway improvement options on display. It is important to note that all options have distinct advantages and limitations, but at this point the analysis is considering all options which could meet the objectives of all agencies and local governments. The first option would be to leave State Road A1A in its current location and construct a retaining wall that is covered with sand and native vegetation. The second option would be to reconstruct State Road A1A as far to the west as possible within the existing right-of-way. A buried retaining wall would also be used in this option. The third option would be to relocate State Road A1A to Central Avenue. The existing State Road A1A would be removed and potentially replaced with a trail or other feature. Option 4 involves creating one-way pairs using the existing State Road A1A right-of-way to construct the new northbound lane and converting Central Avenue to the southbound lane. A buried retaining wall would also be used in this option. Option 5 would create one-way pairs using Central Avenue as the northbound lane and Daytona Avenue as the southbound. The existing State Road A1A would be removed and potentially replaced with a trail or other feature. Any ultimate improvements could be one of these specific options, any combination of them, or perhaps even other options to consider. The no-build or do-nothing option is also considered a viable alternative. The no-build alternative would leave State Road A1A in its current condition. If the no-build option was ultimately selected, the section of roadway that was rebuilt following Hurricane Matthew would need to be reconstructed back to its original location. After restoring the repaired section of roadway, only maintenance and general repairs would be performed. The options on display tonight have considered a variety of factors such as costs, environmental permitting constraints, engineering elements, and local support. The options being considered are included in a matrix that compares the advantages and limitations of each option. While not all options may seem favorable, it is important that all options are explored and considered, which is the focus of today's meeting. As a member of the community, your input is extremely valuable. Team members are ready to discuss the various options with you and answer your questions. We encourage you to fill out a comment form and drop it in the box provided. Comment forms are available at the sign-in table and the comment tables. If you would like to take a comment form with you and mail it back to us, please do so before December 19, 2016. The address is shown on the comment form. You may also email us your comments. The email address is provided on the comment form. Thank you again for attending and for your interest in State Road A1A. We look forward to answering your questions and receiving your comments.